Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Erasi's special interview. As we know, COVID-19 is ravaging the whole world, putting so many people at risk. So my special guest today is Papi, an international college student of UA. He will talk about how COVID-19 had affected him. Papi, welcome to the show. Hello Mr. Erasi. First, please introduce yourself to the audience. My name is, of course, Papi, and I have gone a long way from the other half of the globe to America. I attended the University of Alabama, majoring in creative media. So far, so good. The campus is beautiful, people are nice. Not making many friends yet, but I'm trying. I heard that your school, like everybody in the field, went fully online when the pandemic really hit hard. So how is your experience with online classes so far? Well, it's complicated. Some like it, some do not. I'm right in the middle. Still have to try hard and learn smart. Cannot 100% blame it on teachers though. They're not prepared for such a sudden shift anyway. I really miss in-person classes, but I understand the risk not to do it. Wish we could go back by fall. I can't say either but let's hope for the best, shall we? Now it's summer already, and we are supposed to enjoy ourselves in the sun, but no more since we have to stay home due to quarantine. Does it affect any of your plan? It's lucky that I know how to do the chores like cooking or laundry, so the transition isn't that jarring to be honest. Every day I just sleep long and wake up whenever I want, and watch TV for news or surf the net for some entertainment. Thanks to this difficult time I know how to make lots of tasty stuff, so it's not really that bad. But living like this gets boring very easily, so I learned some skill like photo or video editing to improve my knowledge and have a leg up in the job market. But yeah, there were difficulties at first, but now I'm used to it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So how did you adjust to a new solitary life in quarantine time? It definitely took a toll on me. I have already planned to take a long flight back home this summer to meet my family, to have warm and lovely conversations. But it all fell apart when the disease came and our borders were closed so I could not travel home. It was sad, but there's no other choice anyway. Do you have any friend to talk to? Fortunately, I do. Sometimes they just come around to play some board games with me. It's nice to have people to talk to, so I wouldn't go insane, really. Uh-oh, we've come to the end of our interview already. To cap off, do you hope for anything in the future? Definitely. I would hope for COVID-19 to quickly disappear and return the usual normal life for us and I wish I would have a great time during fall semester and meet new friends to enrich my social life. Thank you so much for coming here and sharing your story with me, Pappy. It's a great pleasure to talk to you. Me too, Mr. Erasy. You have a nice day. We shall meet again sometimes. Sure enough. Goodbye.